Hey guys, welcome to the 11th C programming tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the while loop. And the while loop will simply allow you to loop through a line or lines of code over and over again. So let's just say that we wanted to print out the numbers 1 through 5. Well, the only way that we know how to do that would be to use printf five times. So what we'd have to do is we'd have to say printf, and then we'd have to write 1 slash n. So we're just creating a new line. And then we'd have to go ahead and copy and paste this uh, five times. So three, four, five. All right. And then we'd have to go ahead and change these. So this would be a two, three, four, and five. So now if we go ahead and run this, um, we get one through five right on the screen. But let's say that we wanted to print out one through 100. Well, it's not very practical to copy and paste this one line of code 100 times. So what we can do is loop through one line of code. So let's just go ahead and do that using the while loop. All right, so the first step in creating the while loop is simply typing the while keyword. So we're just gonna type out while right there. And then after this keyword, just go ahead and put a set of parentheses. And inside of these parentheses, you're gonna to wanna to put a condition. And as long as this condition is true, it's going to keep looping. Or while this condition is true, it's going to loop. And then as soon as it's set equal to false, or as soon as that condition is false, then it's going to stop looping. So in order to have it loop through this one line of code right here, 100 times, we're going to have to do the following. We're going to have to go up here and create a new integer variable. I'm just going to call it i and set it equal to 1. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say while i is less than or equal to 100, we want it to execute this one line of code right here. We want it to execute this printf. And with the while loop, if you only wanted to execute one line of code in the loop, then you don't need curly braces. But if you want it to execute more than one line of code, then you do need to have curly braces. All right, so right now what it's going to do is it's just going to create a new integer variable called i and set it equal to one. Then it's going to see if i is less than or equal to 100. And currently the value of i is one. So is one less than 100? Yes, it is. So it's going to loop through this line of code right here, and it's gonna print out one onto the screen. Then it's gonna go back up here and say is one less than 100? Yes, it is. And it's just gonna keep doing that over and over again. And as you can see, the value of i is not changing. So it's gonna actually keep looping through this code for forever. And that's not what we want it to do. We only want it to loop through this one line of code right here 100 times. So what we're gonna have to do is change the value of i inside of this loop right here. So what we're going to have to do is put this line of code right here inside curly braces since we have to have it execute more than one line of code inside of the actual loop. So like I said, we just need to change the value of i inside this loop right here. And what we're going to do is just increment i each time that it loops through this line of code. So what we're going to do is just i++. plus plus. And I know we haven't learned this yet, but basically what it's going to do is just add one to whatever i is. So right now, i is one, so it'll be two after it goes through this one line of code. All right, so now let's go ahead and run through this one more time. So what it's going to do is just gonna create a new integer variable and set it equal to one. Then it's gonna say while i is less than 100. Is one less than or equal to 100? Yes, it is. So it's gonna loop through this line of code and just print out one. Then it's gonna come down here and increment i by one. So it's just going to add one to i. So now the value of i is two, and it's gonna come back up here and check this condition. Is two less than or equal to 100? Yes, it is, so it's gonna print out one, and then increment i. All right, so it's gonna keep doing that over and over again until i is equal to 101. And then once it, i is equal to 101, it won't execute this code, so it'll just skip down here and exit the program. But right now what we have it do is we just have it print out one over and over and over again. So right now it'll just print out one onto our screen 100 times. Well, we want it to print out one through 100. So what we can actually have it do is print out the value of i. So what we're going to do right here is just do modulus or percent sign i, and then we just want it to replace this modulus or percent sign i with the value of our integer variable called i. So I'm just gonna put i right there. All right, so now let's just go ahead and run this and make sure that it works. And as you can see, onto our screen right here, we simply got one through 100. All right, and let's just say that we wanted it to print out one through five. We can simply change this value right here to five, 
and now it will only loop as long as i is less than or equal to 5. So as soon as i is equal to 6, it's just going to exit the program. So now we should only get 1 through 5 on our screen. Yep, 1 through 5, and if I wanted to print out 1 through 1000, then I could just change this value to 1000 right there, run the program, and as you can see, we just got 1000 right there. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial on using the while loop. So, see you guys.